Hi Witch Doctor readers, today we're having a look at Rotel's RCX1500, it's a uh, all-in-one CD player, 100 watt per channel amplifier, FM AM tuner and digital streamer. So this machine comes feature packed, you've got everything in there that opens and shuts, um, very good CD player based on Rotel's RCD1520 which is a very very nice CD, I've, I've, I've had that in my home and reviewed it. Um, what we also have on the front panel here, and I'll just zoom in, we've got a, a USB input. Now the USB input will accept just about every file format you can throw at it, including Apple Lossless, FLAC, WAVE and AIFF. Now, it's the only way that you'll get Apple Lossless on the 1500. Um, they've uh, decided not to support it through streaming. It's a bit of a pity really because I had, um, I've got most of my iTunes library in Apple Lossless. But um, that notwithstanding, it doesn't take away from its abilities, which are um, pretty pretty damn good, actually. Um, there's the uh, CD slot there. A nice slot mounted CD uh, mechanism, which um, I found flawless in use. Um, pretty clean lines. Um, there's not too many buttons on there to um, freak, freak a lot of people out. So uh, I found it very easy to use. And just go around to the back of the machine here. Keep calling it a machine. Sounds like a Terminator, which it isn't, um, thank goodness. Um, so we've got a, um, an auxiliary input, um, pre-out, so if you, if you could use this as a digital preamp and, um, you know, route the, uh, um, the line levels to, uh, to bigger and, you know, beefier amplifiers, um, or even use it in a second, second room somewhere if you wanted to. Um, coaxial and optical inputs, so if you have another uh, digital source you can you can utilize those as computer input and output um, so for control purposes uh, you can you can use that now there's the wireless dongle currently it's wireless only um, but uh, Rotel will be shipping a uh, Ethernet to USB uh, dongle so those with with cabled Ethernet will um, will find that very handy. The wireless reception on, on the 1500 is actually pretty good. I did get a couple of buffering if issues with full sort of red book 16 bit 44.1 kilohertz files, but uh, it's quite rare. Um, just a quick look at the binding post there. There's an IEC jack for uh, for power, so if you want to go crazy with um, aftermarket uh, power cables, you can. Um, now I've been using DNM Reson cable. Um, and that's been connected to Castle Durham's. So they're the Castle Durham 3's. Um, around about a $1,300 loudspeaker and what I'd consider a, a pretty good match. And uh, in all reality, um, it sounded actually very, very good on this system. So I'll just power it up. Let's get down and close. So with the 1500, you have to have a media server. Um, it can be either on a PC or a Mac. Um, I use a Macintosh, and uh, um, the media server I've been using is uh, one I've not actually heard of, but it's a free download called Majestic. Um, and that I've been able to successfully sort of transcode um, um, FLAC and AIFF and uh, have it stream through, uh, uh, through the RCX 1500. So let's just go into the network. So I'll scroll back. And here we have, uh, I guess, the initial menu where you can choose either FM or, uh, or the media player. I select media player. UPnP servers. So we'll just select that. And I've got two there. There's TV Mobily. Um, and the one I've been using, which is... Um, a media server called Majestic, and there it is just scrolling past. So let's just enter that. Um, go into folders. But we'll go back out of folders, go into music, artists, and I feel like listening to Ian Jury this morning, just for the purposes of, uh, of this little video review. Let's go down, 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 pass all my crap. A lot of good music, of course, as well. 
and what are we going to listen to? Let's listen to well, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. Something to live your life by. And this is a, a high quality MP3. Um, but actually sounds pretty damn good. And there we go. So at the moment, you're kind of limited to operating the uh, the RCX 1500 using the the front panel on the uh, on the device itself. That's not ideal, um, and because of that, Rotella actually uh, they're writing a um, an iPhone app, um, which I'm sure will probably be usable on an iPad. And so those with iPhones will be able to kind of scroll to their heart's content and ho hopefully it will include things like cover art and, um, you know, information on the file size and what have you. Um, so that's the come. Uh, the remote control, it's a fairly basic sort of a thing. Um, a little bit tricky with some of the small keys, but, um, you know, it's, it's just what you expect from, a, I guess, a, a, a mainstream Japanese type, um, type, type consumer product. Um, once you get your head around it and know where the keys are, it's really no problem at all and, you know, it's pretty easy to use. Um, so there we have it, RCX 1500. I really liked it. Um, sounds very, very nice. Certainly for uh, around about the 2.5k mark, you, you're getting a lot of product for the money. And, um, you know, those that are looking to, to kind of avoid cable clutter and buying expensive cables, well, they'll be pleased to know that all you need is a pair of, uh, of um, speaker cables and you're in business. So I gave it four and a half stars. Um, knocked it back a little bit because of the lack of Apple losses, but um, all in all, it's a damn good product from, um, you know, one of my favourite Japanese companies. Cheers.